hang in clusters. And I think technically the whole cluster is one fruit, so that's what makes them the largest fruit native to North America. This is a sweet Virginia variety. And that's the one I just had, it was really delicious. Yeah, much better than your average wild one. Yeah, because the mango one wasn't the, wasn't the best, but I still liked it. Yeah, the mango's not that good. This one's growing in the ground. But this one is the showstopper. Wow. Shenandoah. And them are really big. Yeah, and very, very tasty. See some good it's such a beautiful tree. You can see quite a few fruit from this angle. Much better than those wild ones. Mm hmm. It shows people what they can grow and have so many different varieties. Look up and you see we're, we're under oak trees. Yep. So they're shade tolerant and still productive. Let's look at these ones over here. I think they're from seed. No, they're from grafted. Some of them are seedlings, some of them are grafted. People are going to think this is my nursery. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I wish I had this nice pawpaw patch in my nursery. Yeah, that's a good one. We should go shoot the cherimoya. Yeah, let's walk over there. And then this is cherimoya. This is a seedling cherimoya, but the, the seed came from cultivated fruit in California more than 10 years ago. Let me right. back up to show everybody how big this tree is. And the, fr the fruit's been thin. You see how where John's at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. About eight fruit. And you can see how how close related pawpaws are to other unknown species. Get a shot of this, this, this seed that yeah. Came out. We'll show the little fruits. They're so different. They are. This is a good view too. I don't know if the light might be wrong, but you can really see a lot of the fruit from this angle. Oh, that looks pretty good. That's pretty. Let's look at this. I mean, this is uh, one where a graph failed. So this is the cherimoya coming up, and the leaves are much rounder on this one. And then this is an atomoya. And we now know that this one is African pride. We didn't know which variety it was, but now we do. That's the one that I bought online. Yeah. And tasted delicious. And it's... It's, you really got to look to tell the difference between African pride and the cherry. Yeah, you really do. But the African pride is flatter. Even though the shape's the same, this cherimoya is more roughly. So the cherimoya is roughly. This is flat like a sugar apple. The bark is a different color. It's like that. If you didn't know, though, it would be hard to tell them apart. Yeah. One's just more cold hardier. One, uh, drops its leaves also this will drop its leaf but it's not as yeah. cold hardy they've only got a couple of degrees where they can drop their leaves and not get frost damage like what 26 25 25. they'll drop them around like 31 yeah. and then around 27 or so they start having food damage i guess some of the cherimoyas are more cold tolerant than that right we'll catch you later